everyone, welcome to my channel. It's still Friday, April 21st, 2023, and I have a dozen well-fleet oysters. And, uh, and you know what? I got an, I looked at my phone the other day, and it was, it said there was an update, and I got suspicious. I said, how do I know that's Verizon? And uh, it took me a couple of minutes to the courage to say go ahead so there was some update and lo and behold it doesn't display and when you open it you get the time right then you close it and now there it is it used to be if you pressed a button it would light up on my old phone but this, this doesn't have, this has a shorter battery life, in my opinion, than the other phone that I had, the last one. I still haven't taken off the little plastic screen protector here. Anyways, let's get to, uh, got my first blister from working in the garden. Not really working, I had to dig a hole to um, a tree, apple tree that I usually, I had in a pot for, since I've had it three years now, I decided to put it in the ground. just know I'm going to trip over that. I don't know how you cut the limes in a barroom setting, but they do. Something like that, I think. I don't still make that series. I always, all these shows I watch on YouTube, I never seen them on like cable. The Bar Rescue. They're pretty interesting. Got my glove. Oh, you know, I can't believe this. I'm messing it up. I've got no Tabasco, I've got the Tabasco, but I forgot to get the horseradish, the crackers, the uh, cocktail sauce. You know, this is going to hurt because I've got, the, oh, this actually might be an easy one.
sinuses here. I got you know what I just I know I had two in my hand. I didn't want to cross contaminate. What is going on here? Oh it's white. I know it was white. It's it's right here. so good.
this. What I actually needed was oysters to give me a pick-me-up. Oh, the other day I'm walking. Nothing gradual. No warning whatsoever. All of a sudden, my right arch on my foot killing me. I, can, I couldn't even walk. I didn't know if I was going to make it home. off. I'll have to wash it. I don't think I've got it on me. It's gonna, it's gonna smell like the ocean. Or worse. So last weekend, I went to get some oysters, and he was out, and he said, when he has them, nobody wants them, and then when he doesn't have them, people want them. But he supplies restaurants, so he's able to get them to the restaurants, but he said even demand at restaurants is down. Probably because people can't go to the restaurants. I saw an article. Someone found some place. I thought it was in the U.S. That there was like $18 hamburger meal. McDonald's. just realized I forgot something. I wanted to get a pound of hammer. This is what they do when you buy them. That's the sound of, uh, I think if it's dead, it's going to, one thing, it might be open, but it makes a sort of a thud. It's a different, a different sound it makes when it's a bad oyster. and smart.
just gonna put some horseradish on this one. some place um, I forget there's a guy with a business or something like that or it was the guy who was selling them they, they, they save the shells because the shells are used for uh, a substrate for oyster beds So I, my, uh, my foot was killing me. I actually called up the doctor and asked the nurse, you know, what, what should I do? Just stay off it. I don't want to make an appointment for something that's just going to uh, get better by itself. fasciitis. Also, antibiotic for any bad oysters. The kind 
like a small. I can't. I don't, I don't like the big ones though. The really big ones. I see in Asia they got. I was watching a video. They got these humongous oysters. I don't think I could slurp that down. These have hinges that make it really easy to uh, open, except this one. It broke. I'm in. thumbnail's gonna be of the steamers. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat two and a half pounds of steamers. If you want to stick around to watch the... Why my stomach's making a lot of gurgling sounds. I had breakfast this morning, but it's, uh, well, it was quarter of eight or ten of eight. It must be like...
those big clams are doing. a shell. This is it, the last one, people. Gonna be the hardest, most difficult one. Give up the ghost.
this one. That's that. Well, on to the next course. So two and a half pounds, but that's with the shells. So 
this is not filling at all. You can put a lot of these away. Oh yeah, that red potato, plus potatoes, was good. I turned the oven off. Those uh, clams, stuffed clams, I'm pretty sure they're done. Take that. I don't know, I guess you either like this from the start. I don't know if you grow into this, but even as a kid, I always liked. It's funny because I'm not a big fan of uh, fried clams. I was thinking about Woodman's in Essex. These are pretty uh, non-gritty. Sometimes you get a batch that's got a lot of sand in them. So delicious. So I, last weekend I had, I had two pounds. A little bit more than I had. I guess I'll put the shells to the side. like 60 degrees in the house overnight you're in bed with blankets on so you don't need to spend the money on heat who knows what the 
gas is going to be like next year, next season. Yeah, I'd like to have a ear of corn, but I don't know, just I'm afraid of it. on the edge like that. Then you taste the lime when you take the drink. Uh. Oh, yeah. This was like, a, you know, this is a special event when you took the family up to Essex. to get uh, the clams. It wasn't, you know, something you did every weekend. It was very special for our family. This is just so good.
half stick of butter. Well, I won't that. I don't know why I uh, I used almost one of those, almost half a stick. and smart. Going to be rinsing them off. Well, you know what? They're pretty clean. I just eat them like that. It's unusually quiet in the neighborhood. Maybe people want to wait for the weekend. My foot's feeling better. I think I'll soak it in some hot, in a hot water bath too tonight. I thought it was going to be a bad idea to go for a walk. steamers. I think I usually would get onion rings with my steamers, not much of anything else. I don't even recall getting like a coleslaw or something. Steamers. I don't know if I remember corn. I 
do remember going up and getting those little paper cups squirting or that were already made up of the little ketchup that you would get and then you would uh, go up and ask for some more they'd already have them set up on a tray refreshed with some hot uh, fresh hot water that the clams are steamed in God, it seems just like yesterday Vista Cruiser, Vista Cruz Station Wagon, Vista Cruiser Station Wagon. <laughs> Forgot about that. Last time I got the oysters, they had uh, they had the cherry stones there too, and I had those raw. I was I'm not a fan of those. It's a completely different flavor. I'm not a fan of the cherry stones. Tell you the truth. better cooked with garlic and butter. Anything's going to taste better with garlic and butter, right? See, I told you these so I'm still hungry.
sill in the house. And the uh, citrus tree, those Ferrari Satsuma, but I got those, those gnats, those flies in the house. So I got a lot of the plants outside. I think it's definitely, I mean, what were these again? <laughs> these were like $3 a piece.
this meal. It's just so good. Oh, you know what they don't have in here? Celery is good. Give it a little bit of crunch.
half a mile away from me. I gotta go see if that chair, that's what I was gonna do when I got home. I was gonna get that chair real quick. I forgot all about it. I want a chair because I want to, like a lot of people, I once was going to learn how to play guitar. I still got the guitar. And I thought I'd take that up again. Or try to. And I needed a nice chair to sit in. I'm going to go take a look and see if that's available. Yeah. Or I could walk down. Well, everyone, thanks for stopping by. And uh, watching me enjoy a nice shellfish meal that consisted of first appetizer, first course was raw oysters, second course steamers, and third course some stuffed clams. Not bad. So thanks for stopping by. All complimented with Corona. Premier. So appreciate your support, your continued support in your comments, and um, thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description to make any of your Amazon purchases. I really appreciate that. Amazon isn't paying as much as they used to. But uh, every little bit helps these days. So yeah, thank, uh, thank you for your continued support. And if you've never tried it, try try some oysters or steamers. And stuffed shells have always been a favorite of mine. But now this is sort of a bit of a higher standard. I should try making them my own. But then where do you get these? This one is whole. Maybe I clean this up and uh, boil it or something. Got a lot of gas. Bourbon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And make my own. Buy some clams, chop them up, cook them, chop them up. Mix them up with breadcrumbs and bell peppers and I'll find something online. But yeah, thanks everyone. I think I'm going to go see if I can get that. It is like 9 third. I get my phone. Watch, I'll show you again. See? Doesn't display. I figured maybe I was hitting the wrong. No, there's only buttons on this side of the phone. Nice update. I bet you it's an energy saver. Bet you people were complaining. It's 9.34. So thanks everyone. I gotta go see if I can get a chair. I bet they already took it. That's a shame. That was a solid wood chair. You snooze, you lose. <laughs>